Agent Rush Marty, sign in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Codography Team, and today we're working on our 2D platform with C++ and the SFML graphics library. So this is the fifth part already to the C++ 2D platform tutorial series. So if you guys have missed any parts, be sure to check them out before carrying on with this tutorial. If you guys are all good to go, head on over to where you have your code blocks project file located. So in the last tutorial, we didn't get around to actually making the player update, but we did get some keyboards being pressed here, setting some booleans to true if it is, false if it isn't. So in this tutorial, we're going to be getting the player actually updating, so that this way the player is going to have some values, and if the player's values, and if like you're pressing up, the player's values of up is going to be true as well. So let's get started. So now we're going to head on over to the player class, and we're going to create a new function. We're going to call this void, and we're going to call this update. So this is where most of the stuff that ha is going to happen in the player class is going to happen. So, uh, whoops, sem not a semicolon, and that with a set of curly braces, if I can type curly braces. There we go. Now inside, there are going to be some parameters for update. The first parameter is going to be player up, comma, comma after you put a value in there, and then we're going to type player d down, player down, comma, and player right, and one more, really quickly, player, okay, that's not really quickly, but it's fairly quickly, right guys, player left. So this here is going to update the player, and this is going to take these four values for now, so that's if the player is moving to the right, left, or up. After that, you can just leave it empty for now. You can leave the void update empty for now. Now we're going to go to the constructor here, which is public player class, the constructor right here. And we're going to create some initial values. So for now, we're going to have xval, which is going to stand for x velocity. Whoops. I should first type integer, actually not integer, because this, I want my x velocity to be precise, so I'm going to go with a float, because this can handle decimals. So float x velocity, which is how fast the player is moving to the left or the right, is going to equal initially zero, because we don't want our player flying all over the screen to get started. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing for y velocity, so that's how fast the player is moving up and down. So float float y vel is going to equal that's not equal there we go equal zero so now void update player up down left right we're going to create some conditions here some if statement conditions so if that's five not if if to do an if statement type if open a set of parentheses and then inside the parentheses run the test so that means like inside parentheses test what's going to happen so say um if a 1 equals 1, so that's what the test is. So if player player right, right, so if player right, add some curly braces. If player right, what's going to happen? Well, if he's pressing right, x velocity is going to gain and he's going to go shoot, scooting across the screen. So x, 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 bell, bell, if I can spell right x velocity is going to be equal to 5, or that's not 5 for now. Now we're going to do the same thing for if player left, so if he's pressing the left key, oops, I just made a serious typo here, this has to be inside some parentheses, I'm kind of used to Python where you don't require any parentheses, but this is a C++, you have to follow C++'s rules. And let's make this look consistent here. Now let's add the curly braces here, a quick second. Whoops, didn't mean to make two new lines. And what's going to happen is we're going to press the left. Well, we're going to set the x velocity to equal to, equal to negative 5. That's 7, 5. So if he's moving to the left, he's going to, his x velocity is going to start carrying him to the left. Backspace. Add a semicolon whenever ending a statement with C++. And now we're going to do the same thing for down and right. And then type y fell. Well, what's going to happen if he presses up? 
Well, we're going to set y val to equals 2, negative, negative 5. Because again, when you're pressing up, it's going to start, like the zero position is at the top of the screen. So as he moves down, it starts to gain. But if he's moving up, it starts, it's going to decrease. So we're going to set it to negative 5. Alright, so this looks good. So now, it's not going to run the player.update yet, because we haven't called it yet. So to op call it yet, go to where you see in the main loop, main function I mean, go to the while loop while app dot is open. After all these keyboard conditions here, we're going to type player object, because this is our player object here. Object, object, and then dot with a dot, if I can, where's dot, there we go, dot update. And now we're going to give it the arguments here of player right, player left, player down, player blah 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 blah. So we're going to copy all these here, so we don't have to retype all these over and over again. Paste that, and end the line with a semicolon. So now if we compile and run this, we should get no errors, but we do have in fact have an error here. Error, error, player up, it has not been declared. Hmm. Oh, I'm thinking Python here. So, uh, speak, uh, you have to define your data type. So these here are going to be Booleans. So type, now we got to go through the long, lengthy process of typing bool before each variable. So uh, that's right. Um, X file has not been declared yet. So now we're going to have to type float X val, and we're going to set to equal to zero. You know, in reality, I don't think we even needed those lines. My mistake here, fellas. So now I've got to type float and y val is going to be equal to zero. So what this here is doing, not zero dot bool, it's going to be zero comp. There we go. So what this here is doing is called sending default arguments. So that means if nothing is typed for x val and y val, it's going to be set to zero. So let's compile and run this and hopefully error free. Uh, what? Oh, uh, we should probably put this at the end here, because it's it reads these here arguments first as, as we put them in. So the defaults always should really go at the end. So comma, control V, compile, and run. What? Oh, okay, oh, I'm missing a semicolon. One little semicolon. Let's try it now. Okay, whew, that worked. Okay, got that worked here. That was a ton of errors, so it's working. So now, to prove that it's working here, we're going to, going to print out our values here a second. So we're going to print out the x val, and then add a two lesson signs, and then end line. Yeah, why not end line? And then c out two lesson signs, and we're going to print out the y velocity to see if it is actually, in fact, our player is actually moving. So, let's compile and run it. Alright, so I'm going to press up. Alright, I'm going to press right, left, right. Okay, so I'm pressing right, and you can see for a second, it's kind of flickery, it's a little shaky here. But, I press right, and you can see one of them is at 5, which is how it should be. So I press left, and it's at negative 5, which is right. Press up, it's at negative 5, down, it's at negative 5. Alright, so now our player is updating, so I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys have any, any questions or comments about C++ or the SFMO graphics library, leave that down in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave, and if we guys help you out and you guys enjoy what you do, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you next Wednesday, or whenever news breaks, Marshall Radio.